welcome back to Handmade No Hallmark. Today I've got this fun slim line card featuring some cute images from My Favorite Things. And this is also my very first card using the Color Catalog Challenge. Hope you enjoy it. Let's get into it. So first thing I wanted to do is I wanted to randomly choose a, a color palette from my color catalog that I purchased for Christmas. And I thought this was a really fun idea. So I just used a random number generator, went one to 500, that's how many palettes there are. And I got the number 78. So I just scrolled down through my card catalog in volume one, cause I knew it was gonna be in volume number one due to the number. And I just went down and scrolled through until I found number 78. And this was really fun and exciting to see which one you're going to get because I haven't looked through this catalog at all in the least and I was pleasantly surprised at this first one it kind of threw me for a loop to start with I was kind of like oh how am I going to combine these colors together like it took me a minute to kind of really figure it out but once I figured it out I was really pleased with the end result and here we go so I'm going to be using the cool cats stamp and die set from MFT and I'm also going to be using my zig markers. I went through my zig markers and found colors that really matched my palette and those will be listed in the description below. I also took out a few dies from my stash and created this fun slimline window scene. You can see here that this first panel is all white. I ended up changing it out to the dark blue later. I felt like it looked a little bit better and I'm also going to be using this starry skies um, paper pack from Lawn Fawn. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get right into my coloring. Like I mentioned, all the colors that I used will be listed in the description and I'm going to put on some music for you to enjoy until all the coloring is finished and we'll come back and finish up together.
Once all the coloring was finished, I used the coordinating dies to cut out all of these sweet images. And you can see here that I switched out the white panel for a blue one and just kind of arranged my images how I want them on my card. I'm also taking a scrap piece of yellow cardstock and one of the greetings from the set, Hugs and Fishes, and I'm going to stamp it down using some uh, VersaFine Onyx Black ink. And I'm going to cut that out with a flag banner die um, just to add a little bit more yellow to the card. I was having a hard time adding the brown into the card. I probably could have colored all of the kitties in the brown tones and then just added in the different yellows. Again, this card kind of, or this color combination kind of, kind of set me off kilter, I guess. I wasn't used to using these colors together, but it was a really fun, you know, idea and a way to kind of come up with, you know, a color combination that you normally wouldn't use. So here I'm just using that flag banner. I'm going to cut that out and get ready to assemble my card here. And I'm going to be using some foam tape to adhere my panel together and all of my little images. So this process is going to get sped up just a little bit. Um, I'm also going to go in with some of my gel pens and add some details to my little kitties here. One of my favorite things to do, um, I go in with a black glaze pen and add highlights to their eyes as well as a white gel pen to add a little bit of highlight as well. I'm also going to go in with a Stardust glitter pen and add a little bit of shine and shimmer to these little cats. I felt like they were, you know, getting ready for winter um, and have their little toboggans and scarves on. I thought it was super cute. And this little kitty with the glasses is my favorite. He reminds me of my little boy who has glasses and he just loves cats. So this card was kind of a uh, a made for him in a way. So I wanted to real quickly while I'm kind of doing this little stuff address a few comments that I had on my haul video about my sound issues. Typically whenever I do my normal videos like this I do voiceover so I mute all of the background sound from the actual video itself and then I go in afterwards and I do a voiceover using the microphone on my computer so it's really quiet and things are really really great with my haul videos it's easier for me to just kind of do it quote unquote live so as i'm filming i'm speaking and i don't have a really great microphone to do that with and i do apologize for any interruption of sound or noise that was any distraction at all for the video um, i have thought about getting a microphone specifically to do haul videos and any kind of like live feed videos that I might do but as of right now I wasn't able to get a microphone so I had to work with what I had so I do apologize for any discomfort or you know uh, distraction during the video um, again it's I don't do them very often um, haul videos I mostly do them like this where I voice over uh, all of the noise in the background so Again, I do apologize for that, and I hope it wasn't too awful for you guys, and I hope you stick around, because that is not what all of my videos are like. They're more like this one. So here you can see that I am um, adhering the little blue circles on the inside, and I popped up that big main panel using some Studio Katya um, thin foam strips. I recently got those. Um, I've never used them before. They're okay. I like them. Uh, these were the 16th of an inch. They were a lot thinner than I thought. I like that they're pretty thin because it doesn't add a whole lot of bulk, but just gives a little bit of dimension. Um, the backing paper is a little hard to get off, but other than that, I think it's a really nice adhesive. So here I'm just going to speed up the process a little bit. I am just arranging my cats and my other images and adhering them down with that foam tape and some liquid glue. Again, this is nothing extraordinary. I am just arranging all of my little images here. And I love how this turned out. I think it's a super cute, simple card um, and design theme that you could utilize any stamps that you might have or you know, imagery, anything like that to create a design like this. You could easily do this as a, um, an A2 size card as well. I think it would translate well. Um, maybe just arrange your bubbles on the card instead of on like a slim line, I think it would be great as well. 
gonna just trim off that excess cardstock here for my greeting. And I'm gonna go in and add a few more fun little details just to dress the card up a little bit more. Um, I went in with some white clay hearts from my stash. This was a mix that I have. Um, I think it's from uh, Trinity Stamps. I'm not 100% sure, but I'll link something similar um, if you wanted to get something the same. I thought these little clay hearts would be a cute addition to the card add just a tiny bit more white i know that there was a lot of white in the background maybe if i had um some of those like the brown hearts that would have worked out great it would help to add some more brown into the card like the um, inspiration uh color palette but either way i loved how it turned out really fun way to get creative and go through your stash because that's exactly what i did i went through my things and thought of what would look good with these color combinations? How could I turn it into a card? And it was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed making this card. Just gluing those little hearts down with some liquid glue. And then I'm also gonna go in with some uh, Doris flat star embellishments here. I love using these little star embellishments on like sky scenes. I know this is kind of like clouds and moons and cats in the sky but I felt like each individual little circle was a little scene for each cat so um, adding some shine and sparkle to these is fun anyway so going in with those little sequins here some of my favorite sequins I think they add a lot of shine and dimension to a card and really kind of dress it up last couple of stars adhered here and then I'm going to go in with my Wink of Stella glitter brush pen and add a little bit of shine to the clouds and to my banner die. Uh, again, just to add a little bit more sparkle. I just wanted to add a little bit here and there. I didn't want to add any to the cats because they were the zig markers and it would have distorted the um, coloring. The final thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with some Morning Dew crystal drops and add it to the little cat's glasses. I love doing this with any type of glass imagery. I think it really adds some interest and focus to the card and it just dresses him up. And he was my favorite anyway, and I thought he was really cute. And that will finish up my card for today. I really hope you enjoyed this card. If you did, please consider hitting the like button as well as the subscribe so you don't miss out on any more videos here at my YouTube channel. I really hope you enjoyed this very first color catalog challenge card with me. I loved the beginning palette and what we ended up with. Again, the palette is just a guide and inspiration, and I love the finished product. I hope you did too. I'll catch you again real soon. Bye. On screen, I've got a few videos that I think you'll enjoy. Consider hitting the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any more videos at my YouTube channel.